Hi, I'm Dan Quigg with DQ Design, and this is part one of a four-part series on how to outsource engineering services. Did you know that the North American engineering service outsourcing market was at $86 billion in 2018 and globally at $415 billion annually? And the number one reason was cost cutting. There are significant pros and cons to outsourcing, and since you're watching this video, you may be considering outsourcing your engineering. I'm going to teach you the basics and answer most of your questions in this series. I come from a mechanical engineering services background, but the information is applicable to most engineering disciplines. In this part one video, I'm going to discuss the question of engineering outsourcing, what it is, and whether it's right for you and your business model. In part two, I'll go over choosing and how to evaluate an engineering outsource firm. I'll demonstrate a tool I've created to help you do your own evaluation along with a number of important things to consider about outsourcing firms. In part three, I'll discuss developing engineering outsource contracts and choosing the type that's right for you. And in part four, I'll go over an engineering estimate and show you a simple tool you can find on my website for creating a mechanical engineering ROM estimate. But first, let me give you some of my background experience. My 30 plus year career has revolved entirely around contract engineering outsource services. I've been on both sides of the equation and managed engineers, designers, drafters, checkers, mechanics, software, customers, projects, owners, etc. And I've dealt with governments, large corporations, small businesses, foreign and domestic. I recruited and managed over 280 engineers, designers, and drafters. I've integrated all the major engineering disciplines for a big variety of over 10,000 projects. I've been exposed to the project management side of all these entities and individuals. I've competed and cooperated with other engineering firms, and now I'm developing my own consultancy. What is engineering outsourcing, and is it right for you? Today, almost anything can be outsourced, and engineering is no exception. Almost all industries, government, and private sector outsource. It makes sense where companies can keep their emphasis at what they do best and outsource the rest. When companies open up to new suppliers, they expose their development needs to new processes, technologies, and perspectives they might not have experienced otherwise. The burden of human, equipment, and real estate resource management goes away. In exchange, you have the effort of managing the outsourced firm and their added costs of replacing your overhead. The benefit of keeping engineering in-house is to have consistent availability, focus, and team development of skill sets. There are many considerations depending on your business model. In this table are common pro and con issues of engineering outsourcing to compare. In a nutshell, that gives you some of the primary considerations of what outsourcing is and whether it's right for you. Now follow the series to part two, which discusses choosing an engineering firm and how to evaluate them. I'll also demonstrate a tool in the video that you can find on my website that'll help you do your own firm evaluation along with a number of important things to consider in your evaluation. If you have any questions or comments, please add them in the comment section below and visit my website for more information. And if you're considering DQ Design as a resource, the link is in the description. So if you find these videos helpful, please like and subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you in the next one.